doing that y'all okay so what i wanted to talk about all right i helped a long time i guess supporter of mine um sell his nba 2k account now his account was stacked it had seven builds um veteran three 120k my team points um i didn't look at nothing else i just looked at what was most important the builds um the rep and he said he had 120k my team points i'm not really big into my team but i knew that that was big you know some people play it and whoever bought it they probably would have liked that it had that many my team points so boom before we even leading up to helping him sell his account y'all i could show dms bro he have been texting me for years i guess even with old two cases out he always texted me probably around the time of when the game died out asking me to help him sell his accounts now i got dms all the way back from 2022 leading up to 2024 he always have asked me to help him sell his accounts now i ain't gonna lie every time i used to purposely ignore him purposely ignore him because i've had situations with people where they have tried to snatch accounts back but i never did 2k this is my first time helping somebody to sell a 2k account i did i've always sold gta accounts you get what i'm saying so like i said he always have texted me always always and i used to purposely ignore it you feel me so boom saturday that just passed he texted me was like can you help me sell my veteran three seven builds 120k my team you know 2k24 account i said cool now i didn't even hurry up and post it the time that he wanted me to help him sell it because he originally texted me probably on because I, I posted on saturday so he originally texted me probably like three days before that before i even posted the account stuff to my story for somebody to look at it and decide if they wanted to buy so boom i posted everything on my story the rep the rep the, the seven builds uh and the my team points boom as soon as i posted people started hitting my dms i had over 100 plus people like interested in the account but when i told them the price a lot of people just didn't reply back so the price that me, that he agreed on because i was telling him like you know this your account you gotta let me know what you want and what you feel like it's worth so he said two hundred dollars or 250 so i posted on my story when everybody kept when everybody flooded my dms saying how much how much i'm interested i told them the price 200 now i had a lot of people just waste my time i wasn't tripping over that because 200 dollars. i mean me personally i would pay 200 dollars for a 2k24 account because the game is very dead but uh some people will some people still play it you know what i'm saying so boom when i posted it somebody ended up buying now the person who ended up buying was my actual homie i played 2k with him played 2k with him in other 2ks not even just 2k24 so when my when he dm me because i know him he my homie he plays a lot i was like don't be playing bro like is you really trying to buy that, buy that account you know what i'm saying so he was like yeah so he could instantly sent me bread $200 on the cash up can put it on the screen too so I was I text him and I let him know like okay we got somebody who's interested in buying he was asleep so it took him like two hours to even reply so he hit me back up around 11 when he woke up he was like okay back so I had to get the information from him boom he gave me the email and password for the account now I sent it over to my homie how I do because I've been selling accounts how I do I send the person who buying the account the information before I send the person who's selling the account money. So when he sent the information, I sent it to my homie. I said, get on the account, make sure you see everything that he was promoting that should be available when you buy the account. So the first problem was my homie had to buy a plus two to even, you feel me, he didn't have no plus on his account. So my homie bought the plus, got on the account. He seen it had the seven bills. He seen it was a veteran three. He seen it had the my team points. So as soon as he confirmed that, I sent bro the money. Now, mind you, I said 200. When I'm helping people sell accounts, I get a cut too. You got, you know what I'm saying? I tell them, you throw me something, help you even sell it. So boom, he threw me something, help him sell it. I sent him the bread. You know what I'm saying? And I don't ever take a big amount because it's not my account. I always make sure the person who's selling it get more. You feel me? I'm not greedy like that. So I sent him the bread. You know what I'm saying? So um actually I'm leaving out some. When my homie 
um, signed in. Let's just pull back. When he signed in, looked at all the information, out of nowhere, it told him, it signed him out. And when he tried to sign back in with the information I sent from him, it said the password were wrong. So I texted him. I said, bro, what's going on? My homie just said he can't even get back into the account now. You feel me? Now, this is before I even sent him anything. So when he did that and he pulled that, he changed the password in the middle of me giving the information to my homie. I said, nah, bro. I said, you can keep your account. I'm going to give my homie his money back because I would hate for you to scam my homie. You get what I'm saying? I don't even care if it was my homie. I would hate for you to have to, I would hate for you to scam anybody who supports me. You feel me? So when that happened, I sent bro the account back and I sent my homie his $200 back. So he's like, no, 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 I ain't do that. My homie kept signing into the account. So I had to change the password because he kept signing in. Not of this, out of that. And then at first he tried to lie though and said, oh, I sent the wrong password. This is a thing too. Before I do anything or send anybody money, I always sign into the account first myself to make sure the information is right before I send it over to the person who's buying it. So I said, you lying. I said, before I even sent the information to my homie, I signed in first, fool. I said, so the, the password was not wrong. So he was like, nah. He was like, then he doubled back after he lied and said the password was wrong. He doubled back and said, oh, no. My homie kept trying to sign in, so I changed the password. Why you didn't say that from the jump? Why would you say the password wrong when I signed in already and my homie signed in? He would never got in if he said the password was wrong. So, boom. When he did that stuff, I already was looking at him a little sideways. So I sent the information back to him. I gave him his account back and I gave my homie his money back. So he was like, nah, uh, um, th that's my fault. That's my fault. I just changed the password because my homie kept signing in and this and that and this and that. And I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna see if he still wanna buy it and I'm gonna let you know. So my homie was like, he still wanted to buy it. So I told him, I said, you know what? Send me the account now and I'm gonna change everything on it. So what I did was I made a whole new Gmail account, like a whole new Gmail. So when he sent me the account, I changed the email, I changed the password, I changed the two-step, I changed the address on the account, I, ch I put a, 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 a four-digit code to even get in the account. I changed everything on the account that you could think of, you feel me? So when I changed everything on the account, I sent it to my homie, my homie got in, and I sent that nigga hit bread, and that's how the transaction went. Mind you, this on Saturday, so boom, Monday come. <laughs> Monday come. It's 12 p.m. I get a text message on my phone saying two step has been deactivated. So I'm thinking, hmm, what is this? I know it ain't my account, so I go check my personal account. I'm like, it's not my account. I was like, I put my number on that account that I sold for bro. So boom, once I got that alert, and then I got an email that the sign in ID email address was changed. I was like, this dude just snatched the account back. He ain't even, he ain't even. He ain't even wait. He ain't even wait a week or a month. Soon as Monday came, he snatched it right back. Cause mind you, we sold it on Saturday, so that's the weekends. Y'all know PlayStation chat support is not open. So he snatched it back quick. So boom, when I seen that, I hopped into PlayStation chat support. It was like 130 some people in front of me, but it goes by fast. So boom. I told them somebody stole my account. Boom. They told they told me, let's look into this. They asked for this and that, this and that. I provided them the email address I wanted them to put on the account. And I got the account back. I was able to update the email address and change the password. So boom, snatched it right back from him. So after I snatched it back, I told my homie, I said, you know what, bruh? I'm not even finna get the account back to you. He wasn't even tripping. He wasn't even tripping over the $200, but if it was me, I would've been tripping. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't even tripping. So I could've gave my homie the account back after snatching it back, but I knew he could get, he could get the account back again. So you know what I did, y'all? And this is why I wanna let y'all know, this is why I want y'all to let me know if I'm wrong. I, we got on the account, we reset the whole rep. So he was a veteran three, we re, and he was a rise affiliation. We resetted it all the way to elite rookie one. Let me know if I'm wrong now. Let me know if I'm wrong for even doing that. You feel me? So we reset his rep, we spent all his my team point on base packs. He ain't getting out one good card out of it. You feel me? And then after all that, we deleted the players and we deleted all of the database, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the store, whatever you can think of. So basically, we deleted everything and I got the account banned. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong because when I went to try to go text him about snatching the account back, he blocked me on Instagram, blocked me on Snapchat. I can't even contact him. He blocked me on everything. So he had his plan. He had his mind made up. 
You know what I'm saying? So I, I was like, you know what, bro? When you need to go try to keep this account? If can't nobody had that account, if if, if he want to scam, can't nobody had that account. That's, that was my mindset. If you want to snatch the account back, ain't nobody finna have it. You feel me? Like, I don't like that, bro, because I was helping you put bread in your pockets, and I know you needed the bread because you kept begging me to help you sell the account. I know he needed the bread, bro. I know he did. We all need money out here to survive. I know he needed it, though. I know he needed it because he didn't have the he didn't have ten dollars to even buy a plus on the account. My homie had to buy a plus, so I know he needed the bread. And I was genuinely trying to help him out, but people would try to get over on you, bro. If you said you didn't even play two K no more, why was you so worried about getting the account back? He said he didn't even play two K no more. He said that's why he wanted to sell it. He didn't even play it no more. So what, why was you so why why was you so ready to snatch the account back if he didn't play it no more? You get what I'm saying? So bro. If you see this video, that account gone. It's banned right now. It, it's, it's, it's banned on PlayStation. And all your stuff gone. Rep reset it. You ain't got no monitoring points. Your VC gone too. All that gone. Everything gone that you can think of. And I genuinely don't care. Because why would you even try that when I tried to help you out? You, you ain't finna make me look crazy. You ain't finna play with my homie either. Because I told you that before you... When I told you the person that was buying the account before, I told him, I said, don't even be on that weird junk. I said, because my homie is buying the account. And it wouldn't even matter. Even if this happened with a subscriber, I still would have did it. I still would have did it. I told my homie, I said, you know what, bro? I ain't even, we ain't even trying to get this account back to you because I know he's going to eventually try to snatch it back. I said, let's get this account permanently banned. And that's what I did. All my homies helped me get the account banned. All of them, bro. Like, don't play, dog. Don't, don't, don't do that. Like, from here on out, I'm only selling accounts with one person, and it's not 2K accounts. So if you see this video, I'm not selling on 2K accounts. I'm not DM me to help you sell your 2K account, because I will do it to you too. I have no remorse for it. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all think I'm wrong, though. But that's 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 fair. Like, that's 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 wrong. You feel me? You got your money. You got your money out of this. Now you have nothing because you wanted to be low down and dirty. But y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think, bro. And that's all I wanted to come. That's all I want to talk about in this video. But I'll see y'all boys and girls in the next one, man.